All right, time for sports. Myers here with that. Mike. Well, Hudson, we're going to talk a little crewing. Parksville, well-known vacation spot, but it's not the city's beautiful beaches or that mini golf course with that great big shoe. It's attracting all the tourists this week. Curling camp is in session at the Parksville Curling Club, and people have crossed oceans to come to the island to learn from Canada's pros of the pebbled ice. Elaine Dag Jackson can offer pointers on the pebbled ice like no other. So once you feel one like that, now you just replicate do the reps so that you build kind of For 30 years, the women's national team coach has been grooming some of our country's best, and people have traveled oceans to be part of her four-foot curling camp this week. We've got 64 adult curlers from all over Canada. Uh, we've got them from all over the United States, and we even have one from Australia, and they've come here to Parksville to learn how to be better curlers. They've all curled before, but they basically, they're learning delivery, strategy, team skills, and uh, everything. It's, it's really amazing. Coming here is a fantastic opportunity because you're getting lots of repetitions and lots of great feedback and, and of course the quality of the, of the instructors is just fantastic. It's not just Dag Jackson who brings star power to this frozen classroom. She has nine other instructors helping out including former world curling champion Jennifer Jones. That's awesome. That curling has given so much to my life, so I've always, I've always loved coming to do camps and trying to give back and teach people why we love curling so much and hopefully get more people playing. And, and hopefully we'll start doing some camps um, in other parts of, of Canada and, and maybe even North America. So um, we're looking forward to doing that in the future. The future stars of curling flood the ice tomorrow. A record 64 students have registered. Suddenly, curling is cool. People are seeing uh, uh, the Olympics and the Briar and the Scotty and they're seeing people win Olympic medals for curling and they want to try it. And hopefully that'll just continue. The wave of curlers will keep coming and, and we can help um, show everybody why it's such an amazing sport to be a part of. Really good. As for donning that maple leaf at the Olympics, Joan says she's not looking towards Sochi 2014 quite yet. But another Scotty's title could be in her crosshairs. She captured her third in Victoria in 2009. The island's been great to us. <laughs> it's in a, I mean, it's so beautiful. There's no, there's nothing better than Victoria to come here. The weather is always great and the people are amazing. So, you know, we, we love coming to the island and, and hopefully we'll continue to have the success that we've had. Don't hit the camera. 